In the early 1970s, John Duncan, who lived in Falmouth, was like a lot of other teenagers in that he had a camera and he liked to take pictures. What made him different, though, was his eye. He had a rare gift for capturing a compelling image. And now, decades later, his photos are about to be seen as they've never been seen before. Looking through the photos that John Duncan took in Portland in the 1970s, you feel yourself being transported. The people, the buildings, the feel of the city at once familiar and strikingly different. When you first would come into Portland with a camera, what was going through your head? Did you have any idea that you were shooting photos with the idea that they might last? Or were you just saying, I'm just going to go take some pictures? Just take pictures. Duncan was just a teenager when he started shooting these photos. But it is something I, I do have a sense of composition, but it, 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 it comes very naturally to me. You don't have to stop and think about it. No, not really. He had no grand artistic vision, no master plan, no career goals tied to photography. He just liked taking pictures in the city he'd grown up next to. What was it about street photography in particular that appealed to you? I think it's uh, kind of capturing um, the unexpected. The photos have been collected in a new book called Take It Easy, Portland in the 1970s. Part of the story is Duncan himself, who got to know the city intimately while working a number of less than glamorous jobs, including one as a garbage collector. That was when people would just put it out in a little pail. And we'd go around in a big truck with barrels, collect it, and take it out to Falmouth. There was a pig farm out there that we'd take the garbage to. He got an even deeper feel for the city, driving a cab on the overnight shift. There were times, you know, you'd get people that were just totally, you know, just out of control, but nothing, you know, I never got robbed or anything. When you were driving a cab, back then, when you were driving a cab, especially nights, you really saw the full spectrum of humanity yes, in yes. Portland. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back then, no one would have imagined the Portland of today, where hotel rooms go for a thousand bucks a night and condos sell for more than three million dollars. It was a very different city back then, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It had a, it had a grittiness yeah. to it that has been smoothed over. Yeah, it had the all-night clubs. The shifts went from four to four, and I was always working a night shift. You're shuttling people back and forth. There was quite a a hooker scene, I guess, going on and, and all kinds of things. And yeah, it was gritty. It was gritty. What people are doing in these pictures, even when they're doing nothing, pulls you in. The photos from the book, did you typically ask people if you could take their picture or would you just shoot? Oh, no, I, I just shoot. I wasn't asking anybody. This is Duncan's favorite image in the book, a shot of a freckle-faced girl who was selling Kool-Aid on Munjoy Hill. It won Duncan $300 in a Portland Press-Herald photo contest. There's a, a garden of humanity out here, you know, going through their daily lives, and I'm going out to harvest images of that garden. Sometimes the harvest is good and sometimes it's not. <laughs> What's also fascinating is, of course, the look of the city. You could have a lot of fun walking around with Duncan's book in hand, standing where he stood and comparing the views. Then and now. Past and present. What was and what is. This is a bit of a landmark here. Oh, this yeah, is where yeah. the taxi stand used to be. Fun fact, you were a driver for Town Taxi. I was a driver for Town Taxi. When, though? 1981. The Portland of the 1970s has changed and in many cases disappeared. But it all comes vividly back to life in Duncan's photography. If we could fire up the time machine and go back to Portland, 1972 to 1979, would you want to do it? Yeah, I, I could go back for a while. What would you do? I'd be taking a lot of pictures that I didn't take then. I'd, yeah, I, I realize I miss so much. You know, I, I start looking back at things and, and things I've done that uh, I say, oh, why didn't I have a camera then? Why didn't I, you know, why wasn't I taking a picture of this or that? I think you're a little tough on yourself. I don't think you missed much. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. It is easy to get lost in that book. There's going to be a book release party for it. Again, the title is Take It Easy. The party will be happening on Monday, November 8th. It begins at 530 and will be held at the St. Lawrence Arts Center in Portland. You can find more information in the 207 section of our New Center main website and app.
app. It's amazing that in a lot of those photos, not much has changed. Well, that's what's so captivating about the photos is you look at them and you say, oh yeah, not much has changed. And yet, on the other hand, you'll look at others and say, oh wow, a lot has changed. You know, the big signs and the just the stores, the businesses that are gone, and most of them are gone, but there's other stuff that, you know, so it's that mix of the familiar and the lost, the, the vanished now, that's just absolutely, oh, it, it pulled me in big time. Yeah, but the buildings, you recognize most of them. And yeah. I, I looked for my old cab driver license from the city of Portland <laughs> this morning, Amanda, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. I didn't have enough time to Aww. dig deep enough into the vault, so maybe another time I'll see if I can get that. I'm sure you've got it somewhere. That's, that's a whole different story though. <laughs>